Hi, Kevin Milling with your TIA Tech Tip for August 2024, today on Commercial Tire Service. Talk about why we always inflate with the valve core removed. As you can see right here, tire is in the restraining device and the valve core is not inside the valve stem. The reason for that is very simple. If there's any problem whatsoever during inflation, zipper rupture, heat damage to the disc wheel, you can deflate the tire without having to approach it. If the valve core is inside the valve stem while you're inflating the tire and the air chuck becomes dislodged from the valve stem, there's no way for you to deflate the tire without approaching it and getting in the, inside the trajectory. And as you can see here, when I'm inflating this tire, I'm gonna use an inline valve with a pressure gauge. Airlines here at the college are not regulated, so we have to have something to regulate that flow of air. The inline valve allows me to stand outside trajectory during inflation. That way, if anything goes wrong, I can deflate the tire from there without ever having to approach it. Okay, let's sum it up. Whenever you're inflating a truck tire or any tire for that matter, always inflate with the valve core removed. If there's any problem during inflation, you'll be able to deflate the tire without approaching the, the trajectory or the tire itself. Whenever you're inflating truck tires, always use a restraining device, ocean compliant inflation device, and stand outside your directory throughout inflation. For TIA, I'm Kevin Rowling. We'll see you next month.